graduation to me is a stepping stone to another degree, a stepping stone to being closer to where I need to be. I gave up when I was in high school and the sense of achievement I've gotten through this uh, gives me goosebumps sometimes <laughs> um, because I actually did something that I set out to accomplish. To me, graduation means breaking barriers. Uh, I've never, I never seen myself graduating since I didn't get to graduate. I, I finished my associates, I'm going off to my bachelor's and I'm gonna get my master's. So it's like nothing in the way is gonna stop me from doing anything. I'm gonna do it. Graduation means a lot to me because I never did graduate from college to begin with. So this is actually my first degree. Um, and it is an accomplishment because uh, for 20 years I didn't have it and I'd always had to justify not having a degree to be able to work the work I do. Uh, but now I don't have to. One of the biggest obstacles I had was myself. I am on the spectrum, autism spectrum, and when I graduate, I want to be better, help change the world. I am a recovering addict. It's taught me that I can do anything I set my mind to. I mean, for a long time, I, I really didn't believe that about myself. You know, I, I spent most of my 20s w wondering, will I ever make anything of myself? And it, it's really shown me that as long as I put in the time and effort, I can accomplish whatever I put my mind to. Graduating and being a graduate of Trident Tech, I think specifically means so much and I'm proud to have gone here and gained the skills I need in order to um, continue my lifelong career. What graduation means to me, it's, it's quite an accomplishment, honestly. I had no idea I would be going through a college and just how fast it went and how prepped they make you. It's also a step forward to show that we, we can accomplish quite a bit if we focus, stay focused and put our mind to it. Graduation to me means um, success, um, having accomplished um, the journey of, of coming here every day, studying, dedicating, dedicating hard work and time to, to learn the material, to, to better myself. Um, it's accomplishment. It's weird and amazing and different in every single feeling you could feel possible to graduate from high school and college at the same time. Every one of my family is proud of me. They knew how hard I've worked, especially to my parents. They know that they never expected their, their child to be this gifted. I worked really hard um, to get where I am, and I couldn't be more proud of myself at the end of the day, um, which I think is important. I know my family, regarding any differences, will be extremely proud. I'm the first of the family to graduate. Graduation to me is a step into a wider world. Um, and for us nursing graduates, it's a step into the world of caretaking for people. Um, and it carries more gravity than any graduation I've had before because I know that I am going to change people's lives every time I walk in a room. Graduation means that I found you I'm overwhelmed with emotion, but I'm proud. Follow your dreams. Don't let anyone stop you. This is just the beginning for me. It's, it's the end of one chapter, but the beginning of something much greater. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail at the twilight last gleaming. 
whose broad stripes and the bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Oh, the land of the free and the home of the home of the brave, home of the brave. Welcome to the 56th commencement of Triton Technical College. Let me start by saying this is certainly one for the history books. As you know, instead of gathering with your peers, instructors, family, and friends at the Coliseum to honor your accomplishments, here we are celebrating virtually because of this pandemic. Even though this graduation looks different, it does not take away a bit from how hard you have worked to get here. Remember, spring two classes had just begun when the first cases of COVID-19 were reported in our country. On March 16th, the governor closed all South Carolina schools to prevent the spread of this mysterious disease and Trident Tech classes went totally online. Non-essential businesses closed, and life as we know it changed drastically and dramatically. Your determination was put to the test like never before. Many of you already juggle classes with jobs, family, and other obligations, and suddenly you had to adjust to life in quarantine some of you lost your jobs or saw your hours cut. Some of you have taken never before an online course, so you had to adapt to a whole new way of learning. Many of you took over teaching duties for your own children, keeping their education on track while pursuing your own. On top of that, you lived with the fear of the unknown, worried about your family and friends, and perhaps even loved ones that you lost. There were unprecedented challenges for you to overcome, but you learned from those challenges about yourself and about other people, and we learned how versatile and determined you really are. We are so proud of you, the class of 2020. You didn't let unfortunate circumstances stand in the way of accomplishing your goals. You were strong and remarkably resilient in the face of the unknown. While this may not be the graduation you imagine, please know that the faculty and staff of Triton Technical College are awed by your commitment and your hard work. We celebrate this milestone as a testament of your tenacity. You have the skills, knowledge, and grit to propel you to the next level. You are ready for whatever life throws at you, you have already proven that. So proud of you. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 56th graduation ceremony of Trident Technical College. Over the years of your studies, you committed to long hours of hard work and sacrifices in order to succeed regardless of the challenges you may have faced and, quite frankly, are continuing to face during these challenging times. We applaud your efforts, and as you cherish the fruits of your hard work, I wish that success keeps following you in everything that you do today and always. This is also a very special occasion for your family, 
friends and loved ones who supported you through your educational journey. Their support, inspiration, and encouragement helped make this day possible for you. I know you are grateful to your families and friends for believing in the value of education and for believing in you. On behalf of the Area Commission, we send our congratulations to the class of 2020. The journey of life brings both challenges and chances. May you carry your spirit to snatch the chances and beat the challenges. You are on your way to seek new vistas, dream new dreams, and embark on who you are. We encourage you to embrace life with passion and keep reaching for your star. Go for it. Again, congratulations and best wishes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is now my pleasure to introduce the Area Commission of Trident Technical College, all nine members. Dr. Yvonne Barnes, Chair, Area Commission from Berkeley County. Mr. Bill Blatton, Area Commission, Berkeley County. Ms. Carol Duncan, Area Commission, Dorchester County. Mr. Baird Mallory, Area Commission, Charleston County. Dr. Franklin Medio, Area Commission, Berkeley County. Mrs. Margie Morris, Area Commission, Charleston County. Mrs. Kathleen Randall, Area Commission, Dorchester County. Mr. Marion Thompson, Area Commission, Dorchester County. And Mrs. Nita Zucker, Area Commission, Charleston County. I would like to congratulate all of the 2020 Trident Tech graduates. I am sure you have made all of your families extremely proud for what you've accomplished here today. I would also like to thank the Trident Tech staff for organizing this ceremony in a difficult and turbulent time. Thank you for all that you've done for us. I am very humbled to have this opportunity today to address the 2020 graduating class. In high school, I was not what you would consider a good student. I was a student who found that perfect median of doing just enough to pass. I was consumed by partying with friends and doing anything else but school. These behaviors quickly led me to a very dark period in my life. I would develop an addiction to opiates at the age of 18 and stay submerged in this horrific lifestyle until the age of 25. Along the way, I crushed the hearts of my family and friends, became homeless, spent time in jail, and died on multiple occasions. At the age of 25, I was about to be charged and labeled as a felon. My family was ready to wipe their hands of me, and I was exhausted of the way I had been living. It was time to make a change. I chose to check myself into a treatment center in 2016 and receive the help I needed from a disease that dictated every action of my life. This decision was my critical turning point. I went to a facility that properly identified my problem and provided me with a long-term solution, or as they put it, a design for living that works. I learned the importance of integrity, having an open mind with all matters, and how my very life depends on helping other addicts and alcoholics. These fundamental principles became the foundation that I began to build my life upon. It still took another revelation before I turned toward going back to school. After completing treatment, I began to work a general labor job as a residential mover. It was difficult work, and I realized that this is not what I had wanted for my life. As Walt Disney once said, all the adversity I've had in my life, all my troubles and obstacles have strengthened me. You may not realize it when it happens, but a kick in the teeth may be the best thing in the world for you. In the spring of 2019, one week before finals, I would face my greatest challenge in life. I was helping a friend when I received a phone call from my grandmother. She was crying hysterically, and I could not make out what she was saying. She handed the phone to a doctor who informed me that my father had lost his battle with cancer. Unbeknownst to me, my father deemed me medical power of attorney, and I had to make a decision right on the spot for life support or comfort care. 
I quickly pulled myself together and made the most difficult decision I've had to make. Shortly after the call concluded, I got in contact with my professors. This was the week before finals, and I had to be in Las Vegas to be with my father for his last days. The staff was incredibly understanding and helpful. They worked with me and made sure that I would be able to take my finals. Most importantly, they took added stress off my plate at such a difficult time. Trident Tech, thank you for your compassion and understanding. I will never be able to articulate my gratitude for how much you helped me in such a trying time. You have helped me make my father proud. To the class of 2020, as we move forward from today, some may continue their education, some may go into their respective fields, some may take personal time to decide what direction they go next. But no matter where we are going, we must remember one thing. Trident has given us much more than a piece of paper that grants us greater work opportunities. Trident has given us the skills and education to be efficient leaders. So I challenge you, along with myself, to use these skills to add to the quality of our homes, our communities, and our workplace, for our ideas and morals are the blueprints to our future. Thank you. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the one who'll decide where to go. The Great Dr. Seuss. Two years ago, I had a vision of becoming a registered nurse. I was fresh out of college with a BA in math, but I really wanted a career that gave me instant gratification through caring for others. I knew my educational journey was not over. Like many of you, Trident seemed to make the most sense for me. So it became the next best step toward achieving my career goals. What seemed like a big and maybe even a scary step then has come to fruition. I am a graduate of Trident Technical College's School of Nursing. You too are graduates of Trident. However, rather than relishing on what we have overcome to get here, I want to focus on why we are here today. We're here because we had a vision in mind for ourselves and for our future. Earning our degrees in engineering, education, media or culinary arts, healthcare, and other amazing fields at Trident Technical College was only another step in our journey. Many of us had to overcome hardships to get to this point. Working two jobs, having no childcare, studying late into the night, passing a difficult class, just barely, and facing several family and financial hardships. But even more so, the biggest challenge and obstacle many of us had to face was self-doubt. Do I have what it takes? Can I afford this? Am I ever going to graduate? But hey, here we are. Wherever you are, I want you to stand up and repeat after me. No, seriously, guys, stand up and repeat after me. I am a Trident Technical College graduate, and I did it. You made it to the finish line despite many challenges and hardships. From this day forward, there is no more self-doubt. We only need to decide the next steps in our journey. Regardless of what you decide, as a fellow graduate on this final day, I wanna give you one last assignment. Give yourself to others. Be there for the elderly neighbor who may need help bringing in their groceries. Take the time to help a young child learn to read. Volunteer in a homeless shelter. Be a friend to someone who's lonely. Donate to our alma mater so that others can have a chance to pursue their dreams too. 
Never stop learning. This degree is not it, guys. Go back and get your bachelor's, master's, or doctorate. Why not? The sky's the limit. Vote. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Be a leader. Make a difference. Stand up for what you believe in. Have a voice. Vote. Finally, write a thank you note. A handwritten thank you note, guys, not a text, not an email. Thank you, Dr. Thornley. Thank you, donors. Thank you, professors. Thank you, custodians. And many thanks to all of our staff in security, the cafe, library, bookstore, and thank you, mom and dad. Thanks to all of you. To my fellow graduates, Today, I'm asking you to write a thank you note to those three special people who helped you complete this step in your journey. We all agree that our time here at Trident Tech has prepared us for great careers in our future endeavors. It has helped us to believe in ourselves, to believe in humanity, and to remember that we could do it. No more self-doubt. Always remember you can truly do anything you set your mind to because we know that Trident Technical College has prepared us for this day. It has prepared us for our careers. It has prepared us for our future. It has prepared us for life. As a TTC grad, I'm once again inspired by the words of Dr. Seuss. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Always remember all the places you have been and will continue to go. This is just one giant step in the awesome journey that lies ahead. Dr. Thornley, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates who have qualified for graduation by successfully completing curricula offered by Trident Technical College. The faculty recommends the awarding of appropriate associate degrees, diplomas, and certificates in recognition of the candidate's academic accomplishments. Trident Technical College, by virtue of the authority vested in it by the state of South Carolina and upon the recommendation of the faculty, hereby confers on the candidates named associate degrees, diplomas, and certificates with all the rights, privileges, and honors appertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates. On behalf of the Division of Humanities and Social Sciences, I would like to congratulate you on this achievement. We are thrilled that you reached this milestone and hope that you continue to push forward to the next stop on your journey. You're walking out one door, but entering a new world of possibilities. Safe travels. Division of Humanities and Social Sciences. Quelik R. Abdul Rahim. Fahidat Doyansola Ajagbi. Alexander Allen. Jordan Ramon Alston. Heidi J. Alvarez. Stephen W. Amons Jr., cum laude. Denari M. Anderson. Dilnozahan A. Arzikolova. Josiana Bailey, magna cum laude. Haley E. Bain. Alda A. Barbosa. Juan M. Barbosa. Malaya Marie Ruth Barnwell, Cameron J. Barr, 
Evan B. Pavosa. Devon Beaton, cum laude. Taja A. Beaton. Sophie Noel Belhassen. Pamela Renee Berry. Avery Dave M. Biascan. Cameron K. Bicknell. Peyton C. Bishop. John A. Bixler. Gilbert Bowman Bradham, Jr. Stephen A. Brandenburg, cum laude. Colby M. Brenner. Zoe S. Brinegar. Taylor B. Broadwater. Susan K. Brown. Kimber A. Bullington. Lee B. Buncombe, Jr. Tori Annette Burnell. Tracy Lynette Burnell. Cheyenne L. Caldwell. Jarrett Lewis Carrario. Chantal R. Chandler. Trevor C. Chisholm. Sharon D. Clark. Wendy Marie Collins Gonzalez. Don R. Davis. Melanie Joanne Delgado. Brooke K. Dimart. Cleveland B. Dingle. Megan P. Dosher, magna cum laude. Casey J. Doughton. Shalnacy M. Elliott. Wedgden Elmawichi. Paige Alessandra Evangelista. Martha Diane Ferris, cum laude. Katrina Noel Felty. Taiji Devon Ferris. Nicole Grasso. Kasia S. Green. Gretchen Denise Green. Jakara D. Green. Micah Leroy Green. Sarah A. Hamilton, magna cum laude. Emily V. Hankins. Andrew A. Hine. Noah David Stewart Hoffman. Malaysia Alon Hubbard. Jalen L. Irving. Rajinder L. Jackson. Aliyah Jeffrey. Jermaine A. Jenkins, Jr. Jarrett Dawson Johnson. Michael J. Kelly, cum laude. Sarah K. Knowlton, cum laude. Annabelle E. Kornosevich, summa cum laude. Dolce Z. Lara Santiago. Richard W. Lindmeyer V. Madison P. Litchfield. Jacob A. Luce. Sarah E. Librand. 
Emily Male, Paula J. Malloy, summa cum laude, Anasia J. Mann, magna cum laude, Brian P. Marvel, Thomas P. McManus, Crystal L. Michelle, Carlicia A. Middleton, Rebecca E. Miley, Danielle E. Miller, magna cum laude, Malik A. Mixon, Amy Georgiana Murphy, cum laude, Sophie E. Nessel, cum laude, Valentina Olguin, cum laude, Endurance U. Pennell, Marcus A. Pearson, Jr., Dequan S. Perry, Chelsea McKay Phillips, Samuel J. Pilgrim II, Logan J. Poole, Jalea K. President, Robert M. Presnell, Shalnasia K. Richardson, Tamara Marie Richardson, Kimberly Ann Riley, Justin T. Roberson, Dennis J. Ruggiero, Fabiana P. Ruiz, Lena R. Sally, Heather Lee Sammons, Samantha F. Sanchez, Nora E. Saunders, Aurelia J. Seegersbull, Miranda H. Shaw, Victoria Deanne Singletary, Julia Whittington Singleton, Catherine H. Skipper, Alshale L. Smith, Caitlin E. Smith, Haley M. Smith, magna cum laude, Julie Ann Sorensen, cum laude, Grace H. Stocker, magna cum laude, Egypt Tajene Stroud, Sarah Lee Sutton, Nina G. Swift, magna cum laude, Carrie G. Taylor, Sydney Thomas, magna cum laude, Hannah G. Townsend, Emma Elizabeth Tucker, cum laude, Abigail Marie Vandenide, Danielle Sharon Vaughn, magna cum laude, Anna Grace Walsh, Jamila M. Washington, Madison Kathleen Watson, Crystal Lan Whetstone, Taylor D. White, Michael J. Whitehurst, Ernest Yarborough IV, Melanie Joanne Delgado, Nakara O. Hayward, Kayla A. Pratt, 
Savannah L. Raymer, Jamalia T. Riddick, summa cum laude, Kathleen E. Robbins, cum laude, Shane Dell G. Saldana, summa cum laude, Latia S. Smalls, Danica C. Smith, Victoria Madison Trump, cum laude, Jaden S. Williams, Alanette Cherie Days, Shanta D. Faley, Lakia L. Gathers, Alicia N. Howard, Destiny V. Smith, magna cum laude, Shannon D. Witten, Tiani D. Batiste, magna cum laude, Angela Dawn Jones, Carrie T. Middleton, Anne Marie Murtaugh, Alice D. Williams, Alexandria M. Pinckney, Ariel C. Simmons, Sarah L. Gilmore, Joni Elizabeth Batten, Destiny D. Norris, Taniqua J. Bailey, Marla R. Barnett, cum laude, Danielle C. Blandon, Stacy Teresa Bond, Jennifer C. Brown Sally, Deborah Liz Cruz, Latifa R. Frazier, Crystal F. Hodge, Gloria M. Johnson, Christina Michelle Jones, Jenny Parada Nuven, magna cum laude, Taylor Elizabeth Rampersad, Shantia K. Ravenel, Emily Marie Schneider, Lisa Ann Smith, Melissa Smith, Chantel Snoddy, cum laude, Regina C. Westcott, Rhonda R. White, Nicole Grasso,